going on, Clash Crashers? Rocky here, and it's time to get caught up on these daily updates. Let's go! So, yesterday, I was out of town. I apologize. I don't get the sneak peeks, like, you know, before everyone else does, so I kind of got to find them out like you guys find them out. So, I was out of town, so I couldn't create a new video. But let's talk about yesterday's update. Yesterday, they announced that there's going to be level 5 Volks, level 6 Hogs, level 7 Goblins. So, those troops are going to get one more level added on, so they might be, you know, a little more viable in that, you know, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 players, you know, especially the Volks and Hogs. Uh, Volks are getting a lot of a lot of upgrades. Uh, they're going to ha actually have more damage. They're going to have more DPS. But they're going to lose a little bit of hit points. So they're not going to be so tanky, but they're going to do a lot more damage. And then on top of that, the Valkyries are also going to attack faster. So they're going to engage the buildings a lot faster, do more damage. So they might, you know, these Valkyrie strategies, these hybrid strategies with the Valkyries might become a lot more relevant and a lot more powerful with this next update. Uh, the level 6 hogs, you guys know I love hog riders. Hi! Um, so I'm pretty pumped about that, that level 6 hogs might be a little bit more usable in the higher levels. I'm assuming it's going to be Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, stuff like that. And then the level 7 goblins, uh, actually the level 6 goblins get moved down to Town Hall 9. And then level 7, I'm assuming, will be Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11. So that'll be kind of cool. Not a lot of people use goblins a whole lot. So, I mean, it's not super exciting, but it's something that's probably necessary for the game. Let's be honest. Something that needs to be done, that Supercell's doing, that we need to take care of. Next, let's get to today's update. Oh my god, this update. I love it. It's great. It's awesome. I, I, I'm so pumped about this. I won't be able to use it right away. I'm considering rushing one of my Town Hall 8s up to Town Hall 10 just so I can check the new troop out. New dark troop. That's right, guys. We are getting a troop called the Bowler. Uh, as you see here, there he, lo he looks amazing. Uh, he's kind of like a blue goblin type guy. He has a stone that he throws. He literally throws a stone and it does splash damage. Uh, he maxes out at level 3, and at level 3, his damage per second is 85. Uh, he has 380 hit points at level 3. He costs 170 Dark Elixir to train, so a little bit heavy on that, but not too bad. He doesn't have a favorite target or anything like that, but he does do splash damage. His splash damage is actually, it bounces. I don't know if you guys saw this gameplay. I, I'm sorry, I don't have access to the gameplay footage. I don't have access to the developer mode or anything like that. So I can show you pictures, but I'm not going to rip off other people's, you know, content. Um, I will show pictures because Supercell posted the pictures, but I'm not going to go and steal someone else's video footage. Uh, the, the bowler bounces. It'll bounce, like, let's pause this here. Like, say the, the, uh, bowler was on the spell, uh, the spell spell factory it would bounce and hit the spell factory and maybe even bounce and hit that archer tower if he's at a diagonal bounce and hit that uh, army camp so it's pretty cool he actually hits two buildings for the same amount of damage pretty cool stuff i like it i like it uh he he only attacks ground stuff uh he takes eight minutes to train takes eight housing spaces so kind of like a valk or a Wizzy. uh 14 movement speed so he moves decent speed and these things are pretty sweet i don't know if you guys saw the gameplay footage but you throw them in behind like some tank troops and they can just almost snipe these buildings. I like it. I'm pretty excited to see how this goes. Like I said, I'm considering rushing an account just so I can, you know, play with this thing, give you guys some footage on it, and check it out. So that's all for the updates currently. Uh, I want to kind of touch base on another update that was talked about as far as balancing updates. Poison spells. This is pretty huge. You know when you lure a clan castle troop and it kind of just sits there and gets poisoned and dies? Now if the clan castle troop isn't engaged in combat... It's going to run out of the poison. It's not going to let you poison it. It's going to run away, say, nope, I'm out of here, done. So that's going to be pretty huge. I thought that was crazy. So we'll see how that goes. But hopefully you guys are liking these updates. I'm pretty pumped. I, I won't lie. I'm pretty pumped about these updates. I can't wait. As always, guys, please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new here. Like the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking about it. Let me know because I'm jacked up. I'm, I'm so pumped. You guys don't even know. As always, guys, thanks for Clash Fashion with me, and you guys have a fantastic day.